the breath is always there. It's simply a question of whether we're going to be paying attention to it or not. You don't have to create breath sensations. They're going to be coming in, going out, moving around, staying still. Whatever they're going to do in the body, they're right there. And first all you have to do is just turn your attention in that direction. Then you find it turning away, then turn it back. It's as simple as that. And then you begin to notice when the breath is flowing nicely, when it's not flowing nicely, then you can make some adjustments. It's not that burdensome a thing, and yet it's so easy for us to miss it. And to think we can meditate only when we're sitting here with our eyes closed or doing formal walking meditation. But it's not the case that the breath is there only when you have your eyes closed and only when you're doing formal meditation. Otherwise we die. It's always there coming in going out, and simply it's a matter of ferreting it out, finding it. Where are those sensations right now? What are the quality? And then just staying in touch with that. There are lots of different things you could focus on in the course of the day, many layers of awareness, many layers of activity going around, going on around you. And it's simply a matter of finding this layer and staying with it. It's like finding a seam of gold in the rock. There's lots of other rock, lots of other things you could dig, but you're going to stick with the gold. And yet we forget that it's gold. It doesn't look all that impressive. And that's what it is. It's what gives us the opportunity to settle down and have a good, solid place to find a sense of well-being inside, a well-being that's harmless. As the Buddha said, it's blameless. There are very few ways of finding happiness in the world that are blameless. So take advantage of the ones that you can, you can contact. And they're right here. It's simply a matter of turning your attention and then keeping it there. And you find there's a whole world of experience with a breath that you can learn how to explore and to use for your benefit and the benefit of others. But you have to dig down and find it and then stick with it, which is not too much to ask. Just remember that you can do it all the time throughout the day. It's always there. It's simply a matter of your choice whether you're going to turn your attention there or turn it someplace else. This is why mindfulness is so important, because we easily forget. Mindfulness is what reminds us to the breath, to the breath. So listen to what it has to say. <laughs> 